Hello and welcome to this video in the Lockdown Learning Series where we're going to take a look at installing some of the Absolute 4 collection. So this is Steinberg's complete collection of VST instruments, so software instruments that they, they sell normally and you'll have a 60 day demo as part of the Stay Home collection. So we're just going to look at how you install them. Now the way that you do this is the same way as all other Steinberg software at the moment which is through the Steinberg Download Assistant as you can see there. So just run that, it will take a while to load up and it will get a list of the latest software that's available. And it looks exactly the same as Windows on Windows as on Mac, so this is the same on both platforms. You click on Absolute 4 VST Collection and as you can see we've got a large collection of software to download, you can't just do it all in one go. So we're going to start out looking at installing Halion and its content. So there's two elements to it, Halion itself and then the content. And as you can see, the content's about 30 gigs. So I'm just going to download Halion 6 and run through the installation of that. So once that's downloaded and finished verifying, then you just click open as you did with the other programs. In the case of a Mac, it opens up a disk image, but on the PC, it would just open up a link to an installer. And then you would just run the installer on both platforms. I'm just going to run the Mac one, but they're pretty much the same. You just click all the defaults and it will be fine. It takes a bit of time, but once it's done, it'll tell you it's successful and you're done. I'm going to move that to the trash just to keep things tidy. Then you need to download the content. Now, as you can see, this is 30 gigs. Clearly, I'm going to speed through this download. You don't need to be watching this, but this will take some time. Even on a fast internet connection, this is not going to be a quick process. So we'll start it off here and then come back when it's done. So as you can see, the download's finished and verified, and now clicking open should open up the Steinberg Library Manager. So as you can see here, it will scan through and find all of the content that needs to be installed. And again, the defaults are good, so install to default location, unless you definitely know what you're doing, which, uh, no offence, but you probably don't. Uh, and keep installation files, so just so you don't have to download it again, providing you've got the, the space. And then you click OK. And then it will go through and install all of those. It takes a few seconds, but then we can see the sounds have been registered successfully and you've got access to all these sounds which all use the Halion engine. So this is one of uh, Steinberg's technologies which they maybe slightly overuse the name a little bit but there we go. Same goes for all of these others so effectively you would install the plugin and install it and then install the content. So I'm not going to run through the rest of these on this video, you get the idea. Pretty much you download, you wait for a day, a week, a month or whatever and then you click open and just follow through either the installer or the uh, library manager and then you'll be good to go. You'll have all of these installed. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you again soon.